Hey guys, it's TCG here again, and uh, I thought I'd do a video today about, uh, now I've been collecting uh, for just over 12 months now, it's probably around about 14 months, and uh, I just wanted to show you uh, what graded, loose graded figures that I picked up over the last 14 months, uh, and it's roughly around about one a month that I've picked up. Uh, I'm going to work my way from the lower grades to the higher grades and uh, we'll have a little look and uh, yeah so first of all this is uh, full on this was the first ever graded figure I got now bearing in mind today the graded figures they've really gone up in price uh, so at the beginning when I started collecting it was a lot easier to find uh, you know figures for decent prices uh, you know I think I paid maybe in the 30s for this guy uh, and basically he's a 75 a figure is 80 and paint and Kate got 75 it's really good condition uh, but as you see at the top there in this corner if you look closely you should just be able to see a small tear which uh, you know this is common in these figures I do have a loose figure which is quite immaculate and if I did send it in would probably get 85 but you know I'm happy with this guy and uh, he's just a standard uh, Hong Kong and he was the first ever figure that I bought Right, so we'll just move this guy out of the way. And this next figure I bought was Denga. Uh, this again didn't really cost me a lot of money. Uh, this is the PBP version. Dark armor, white face. This is Cass, Collector's Archive Services. This particular one uh, says 1980 Pally Toy Star Wars Denga Tri Logo Dark Armor Pale Face No Ku One Line F LFL. This was probably graded uh, quite early on, so it doesn't mention PBP, but it is a PBP figure. Uh, he has got some paint rub there, as you can see on his chest. I do have a loose PBP in uh, really good condition. But again, this was my second figure uh, that I ever bought. I just really liked him, the display. Uh, plus as well, you get the archive statement, picture of him. Uh, I think it's really cool. 2017, this was, so this was four years ago that this was done. But yeah, really nice item. And that's my Denga PBP. Uh, with a score of 75 plus, which is 78.9. And uh, there you go. So moving on. Uh, my next one is Luke Bespin. Yellow Her. Uh, took me quite a while to get a Bespin. I do have a loose one now. But I saw this, saw it at a decent price. I thought I like that. Uh, as you can see, there's slight paint rub on his belt, a little bit on his eyebrow. But apart from that, he's in pretty good condition. Uh, and the scores on this one were figure and paint 75, so an overall of 75. Uh, and this again is Hong Kong. But again, a really nice item. Uh, again, like I say, I do have a loose brown hair one uh, in really good condition. It's probably an 85. But again, one of my early figures that I collected. Uh, and that's Luke Bespin. Okay, so moving on. Put him over there. And the next one was, now this guy was, he's pretty hard to get a decent one of these. So when I saw this, I thought, I'm going to have to snap it up. Looks really cool uh, in the case, right in bang in the centre. Because obviously it doesn't have any accessories. So I really love the display. 
of this guy. And this is the Death Star droid. As you can see, he's in really good condition. All his paints there. This guy got an 80. And he got 80 for the paint and the figure. And again, this is Hong Kong. 1978 Death Star droid. Really nice item. Again, uh, I only picked this up about two or three months ago. But really do like this figure. And uh, really nice addition to my uh, loose grady collection. So moving on. And my next one is... This was the third figure. Loose graded figure that I ever bought. Definitely wanted a... Uh, an Emperor, Emperor's Royal Guard. As you can see, they're in really good condition again. There he is with his cape, folded nice at the back. And uh, he's got his uh, Force Pike, which unlike most of them, that's pretty straight. <laughs> but uh, this guy is, uh, again, Hong Kong. Uh, the figure got 85, the paint got 85, and the cape got 80. So it's nearly straight 85s. Uh, but really nice item again. Do like the Royal Emperor's Guard. Or Emperor's Royal Guard, whichever way you want to say it. Really nice figure. I do have a, a few more loose. But again, you know, really nice figure. And I really like that one. So, moving on. Uh, my next one is... 2-1-B. Really nice condition again. As you can see the... You know, the clear plastic there is, uh, you know, quite clear. Uh, just a really nice item there in this case. Sorry about the glare, guys. Got a window at the back of me here in the kitchen. Uh, and this guy here got 85 for the paint and 80 for the figure. So, you know, when I'm looking for uh, an, an 80... You know, which, you know, is cheaper than an 85. I always try and find it with the paint being 85. Because obviously, you know, he's in there. And I want to display him the best I can. So I'd rather have the paint be 85. Uh, and then the figure being 80 if it was an overall 80. So again, there's 2-1-B. Really nice item. And yeah, I'm glad to add that to my collection. Uh, the next one is Princess Leia. And there she is, in the glory. And the helmet, the really nice condition. I, I do have a loose, but not in as good condition as this. But really nice item. Uh, my wife bought me this for Christmas, along with a loose Joa. And uh, again, this one is uh, paint 85, and the figure is at 80. This is Taiwan, Princess Leia Bush. Really nice item. And uh, yeah, really like that one. Right, the next one is, you know, one of the first 12 that I've got graded. Uh, got this one on Facebook group. And this is the uh, Tuscan Raider. As you can see there, really nice, good condition. Uh, this is AFA, this is an 80 near mint. And the reason why this is 80 near mint, because if you look on the back, which you probably find out to see, there is a little tiddy hole. Uh, okay, a little pinprick of an hole. But, you know... It looks really nice. It's good for display. And again, I'm glad to add him to my collection. And so that is, again, Hong Kong. Some people, 1977, by Action Figure Authority. Okay, so moving on. Let me have a look. What else have I got here? Moving to the back ones. Obviously, I've started off on the lower grade. So all these now... Uh, uh, are 85 and above. Uh, the next one, I got this pretty early on. I do have a uh, Bib Fortuna on a Return of the Jedi 77 back card as well. You, if you want to check that out, just check back on my videos. 
And here he is, Bib Fortuna. Again, this is Hong Kong. Really nice item and in really good condition. Uh, if we look at these scores, it's an 85. The figure got 85, the paint got 85, but the cape got 80. So it's not straight 85, it was let down by one, but still a nice item. Again, this is uh, Bib Fortuna, Hong Kong. Really nice item. And uh, another one that I uh, was glad I added to my collection. Let's move these forward. And then we can take a look at these. Put these at the back. I do like getting my collection out, you know, they are stored away uh, in the dark, no light. So, you know, keeps them safe, stops them degrading. And uh, I like getting them out, showing you guys. It gives me an excuse to, uh, you know, check them out. So let's move on. So the next one, obviously this was my newest acquired, acquired, acquired item, uh, Darth Vader. I've always wanted Darth Vader. I do uh, have a little focus on him. Uh, this is 85 Near Mint Plus, Hong Kong, 1977, Darth Vader. Again, really nice item. I have showed this, well, I've shown them all in videos before you can actually check back, check it out. But uh, yeah, really nice item. Darth Vader. Okay, and then moving on to, well, I have two of these. <laughs> so again, you know, I bought this one. This is straight, this is an AFA 85 near plus. This is Hong Kong. Really good condition. Uh, yeah, weird way that he's facing, but you know, I like it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like the way it's, it's done. But uh, yeah, it's an 85. And uh, my most recent pickup was the PVP, eyes forward. Again, this is an 85. For figure and paint, this is UKG. Again, this is probably an early uh, grade. Doesn't say PBP, but it does say Star Wars, Hammerhead, Eye Straight, 1978, GMFGI, Noku, G-Scar, and uh, straight 85s. Really nice item, glad I picked that up. And uh, yeah, so that's another Spanish PBP. So moving on. And uh, these last two are baggies. And this is uh, 88. This is made in Macau. Baggy. Factory sealed. Really nice item. Do like 88. Really nice figure. Even though you don't see him so often. But he is the torture droid. And... Uh, Again, this is a UKG, this is straight 85, 85, oh sorry, this is figure 85, but the paint is 90. So we're creeping into the 90s there, this is uh, 88 Euro Bagger S Blue Horizontal Text, 1983 Macau. That was a recent acquisition, and uh, yeah, really happy with that, really great figure. And moving on, last not but least... This is my 90, straight 90, prune face, baggy, made in Hong Kong, Kenner, blue. And this one again, as you can see, is gold. And the figure paint and cape all got 90, and it says gold underneath. Really like this item. I do have this guy on the 77 back. And this is Star Wars, prune face, Empire Strikes Back, F, baggy. 1984, Kenner, Hong Kong. Again, if you want any more information on this, I do have other videos. If you can check them out, or I'll leave them on the end screen at the end. And uh, yeah, that's uh, Prune Face, gold, 90%. So yeah, guys, that has been uh, a look at my 
graded figures that I've picked up over the last 12 months and uh, I'm really happy with them. Uh, you guys got any experiences or, you know, what do you think about the prices, the market at the moment? Leave us a comment. Do you collect graded figures? Uh, what do you think about the prices? Uh, do you hate graded figures? If you don't like graded figures, then, you know, leave it in the comments. I do like collecting graded figures. Uh, if you watch Action Figure Grader uh, channel, he got me addicted originally, 14, 15 months ago, when I started watching his channel. And, uh, yeah, I really do like the graded figures. It protects them. Uh, you know, sometimes they're not always correct. You do have to watch. Because sometimes, you know, in the past, the early ones, they have made mistakes. You know, even put repro reproduction weapons in. But, you know, as we've moved on, uh, you know, these grading companies are getting a lot better. And basically, I've got a nice choice there of uh, CAS, UKG and AFA. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. This is a Monday morning. Uh, and, you know, if you, like, if you like what you see, my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe. Uh, hit the like button and don't forget to uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. This has been TCG, looking at my loose graded figures. And uh, I'll see you soon.